Well, that's where that bit of... It's, it's 95. 95? Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight years ago. Or 96. It's one of them too, isn't it? It's flown, isn't it? It does. That means I must have got divorced nine years ago because I had that 335 built the year before, remember? Yeah. Did that semi acoustic and then he built me this straight after. Yeah. Okay, we're going to meet Jesse Day for your Rosie for Dad. This is a lovely file now, this is nothing special. I can't remember where I bought it from. It's a Stubbs though, I mean, it's a good make. But uh, it's lovely. And they're not cheap, these. Quality files on. Yeah, nice. This is a metal working file, really. Oh, really? But it's, it's, yes, it, but it's nice, it gives a nice finish. How much will the file cost? Oh, God knows. The, I mean, 30 or 40 pounds, a lot really? of them now, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, now, this, this cabinet scraper now is just taking off all the fine little scratch marks. And then I can go to the sandpaper. If you can, you see now yeah, they're all coming out. I mean, you can. You don't need to do this. You can just go straight to a big sanding machine if you want. Yeah. But that's not handmade, is it? Then it's just shoving it up a machine. Don't get me wrong, I do use my machines a lot, especially when I'm making uh, speakers, you know, mm. because that's a different discipline altogether. But, um, I don't like building speakers, so um, I try not to do them at all, really, these days. But me, I think we've been going for 17 minutes for this, have we? Yeah. Well, it's, you want to get it right this time, don't we? As you've... Now you've got your little weak, weak hands, <laughs> girly, little girly hands, you've got, to, you've got to get this shape perfect now. Listen. I think. This cabinet scraper, by the way, is really not sharp at all, it's really blunt. But I, that's how I wanted it for this. I've got all different scrapers, and the, this, I've chosen this one for this. It's not smooth, it's just become. I know, it's fantastic, you know, the old machines, you know, you, when you look at old stuff from the Victorian era, you say, yeah. oh, they didn't have anything electric wise then. Yeah. And they got such a beautiful finish, and the sandpaper was absolutely rubbish at that. And uh, so it was stuff like this. Then. It was stuff like this, and just a lot of patience and time and effort. Yeah, yeah. Well, they didn't get they didn't get paid much, but they didn't have anything else to do really. Once they'd finished work, they just got a candle at home, yeah. so they go bed early and work all day, wouldn't they? I suppose with some next night, you just use a probably a computer cutting machine thing. That's it. Yeah. No, that's yeah. it. No, you don't. Next. I'm very impressed by this. Any uh, humorous uh, tales you want to no. explain to the viewers? Not today, actually. Um, I'm not feeling any humorous mood. I've just been come back from Spain and it was bloody wank. <laughs> <laughs> the weather was absolutely disgusting. No, I aren't in the best of moods, and I've got to get these <laughs> this, these speakers finished. <laughs> Can't have been that bad. It was worse than the weather. <laughs> the food was shit. The weather was shit. <laughs> Where about did you go? Uh, Mallorca. Mm. Uh, it was okay. yeah, it was okay. If you like raining. Really? We're getting used to it in this country, that's why I went over there to get away from it, and it followed me. Yeah. Uh, well, there you go. And no granddaughters tonight. No granddaughters tonight, no, so I've got nothing to do tonight, and what I'm going to do with myself. You just drink heavily. I think so, yeah. And uh, what's going on today, David?
Where are you going to go? Um, full moon, probably, later. Oh, really? I might do, yeah, I'll just go down there for a drink. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Is that a particular gauge sand paper? This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's 180. I shall go over to probably before I put any lacquer on this now I should probably just put some 320s or 400 gauge some paper just to soften it down a bit more. This is doing a lovely job. We've got to blend the old lacquer. Oh, yeah. Ready for the new lacquer. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide I'm gonna use a cellulose. Nitro cellulose they call it these days. I've tried to make it sound posher than it really is. It's so just cellulose. What's the difference between cellulose and this? This? Uh, nothing really. This is uh, there's not much difference. Mm. This was the, this was originally designed to emulate cellulose, okay. only with a slightly thicker build with it being a two-pack. Uh, and it does, it's uh, it's a melamine finish. They've changed the, they've changed the formula, I don't know whether health and safety have had something to do with it, but they're, they're changing the formula on it, and it, I don't know whether I care for it so much these days. So I'm using more and more nit nitrocellulose. Yeah. Uh, I haven't tried the water-based ones yet. You can't repair a water-based finish though because it, uh, your finish doesn't, uh, doesn't bond in. That's just stick with the, what you know works, classic, classic yeah. uh, materials. Yeah. You know, it's the end of May now, and I've got the shed door open, and it's bloody freezing in here. No, I'm okay. I'm so, yeah, you've got a big coat on, I've just got t-shirts on, it's uncomfortable now. This is dreadful weather this year. It was only a week ago I was having a fire on in this workshop, in the, in the wood burner, just to keep it warm. It's atrocious weather this year. I've got loads of new, so I'm not being skimping, I just want to soft the finish on the Just remember we're, we're sanding down quite a nice lacquer here just to, to bond into. Oh yeah. Did you clean it with something before you uh, yeah. actually spray it? Yeah. Just Tenet. white spirits on it, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Tenet. Makes you wonder how much uh, thought the average person puts into the neck profile. I suppose most guitarists know what they like. So I bet quite a lot of people would buy something that they think they like. Yeah. And then, if you think about it really, um, you can probably improve your playing a lot if you just make some small changes. That's right. So it really feels, like some guitars just feel fantastic, don't they? Like you're born with them. Yeah. I bet you like this better anyway. Well, I like that. I just like it. Like I say, I quite like this, this strat that I play. You see. You would have had this shape originally yeah. if you'd have just said, can you make me a guitar? Because that's the shape you would have ended up with, because that's the shape I always make. Yeah, I can't remember. Unless somebody specifies something else. Yeah, I can't remember what happened yeah. with it. Yeah. I think we just went for a Les Paul type chunky sort of uh, sustained type sort of build. Yeah, well it's still a bit chunky. I mean, it's still lots and lots of strength in it. We haven't taken much strength out of it. We've yeah. just changed the profile yeah. slightly. Um, I think you'll like it a lot this now. Just hold the top. We are here shooting our 2013-2014 calendar. And this is all you need to post for that. That's the calendar post. Yeah, it feels uh, 
Yeah, feels much easier. It's got a lot of good job on putting some thinners on it now because you've got greasy hands on there. Because I haven't got greasy hands, I've got no grease in my hands at all with all the years of woodworking and thinners on my hands all the while. You weren't, you weren't born like that? Uh, no, no, we're all, all the same, but I've got really dry hands all the while. I don't put any grease off my fingers onto the wood. Yeah. I get this from a lot where people bring me here something that they've broken on the guitar, like the neck, they always rub it. And what they're doing is putting dirt in the hole and grease, and yeah. you can't get glue to stick to that. Yeah, yeah. And it's everybody's in everybody's nature, they always do it. Oh, broke my neck there. Yeah. And they do that, and then they just well, rub the oils out the fingers. They can't help it, no, it's just human nature, but it's an off pain. Fuck me, 26 minutes. I'll have to edit this down. Yes, you will. So, what, what, what are you doing now? I'm trying to test you off the way so I can get down here and get some thinners. Okay then. <laughs> I've got to find my way through all this shit. I know you too well. You take, <laughs> you'll have to try harder than that. Oh dear. So just um, get this ready for spraying then. I can't believe how fast you've done it. Sorry? I can't believe how fast you've done it. Yeah. Uh, my knees are bollocks, but my arms are fine. So I'm still alright for working. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably uh, become a wheelchair athlete then. Oh, lovely. That's a lovely thought, isn't it? Got to think positive, Doug. Yeah. yeah. No, I've got the bad knees, but... Uh, People are a lot worse, aren't they? Yeah. They're only actually bad when I do a lot of walking, like I've just done on that holiday, you know, nothing else to do apart from drinking. And that's what I was doing, walking to the pubs. And the toilet, and the, and the toilet, but and the toilet lots of times, yeah. So there we go, as you can see, I've just wiped some tennis on it just to... Just to ready, get it ready for bonding in. Yeah. That's the... Uh, I was trying to tell them who you were. See and the grain now. Oh, Again? Yeah. We'll have to go now because I've run out of tissue for blowing my nose more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, looks like so it's uh, it. good by you've, then. You've seen, um, you've seen that. It's a lovely piece of wood. And um, it's going to be sprayed with uh, cellulose now. And I shall be doing one coat now. I can get back to working on my speakers. I'll give you a hand if you want. Yeah. So this is this. So you've got lacquer ready to go? Yep. Oh. I have. I've always got lacquer ready to go. So that's just a lick of lacquer. Well, that's the first. No, that's the first of two coats. It's having that's a base coat lacquer. Oh yeah. Right, it's just a, it's an undercoat that will dry slightly matte like you were talking about before. Oh yeah. And uh, it looks lovely and shiny now, but it will dry slightly matte. Yeah. Um. <sighs> and then we'll give it some cellulose and it'll be ready. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a long process lacquering them. Um, you know, it looks like well, quick one quick one coat job, but it isn't. Yeah. It, that dries and goes to nothing, really, because it's very thin. And then I'll do a, a few more coats of that, two, two, three coats of that, flat it all out, and then start spraying it with the clear cellulose with a bit of shine. So that's that, then. Well, then, say goodbye, then, for this video. Yes, well, it's been lovely, but thank you very much. Now, bugger off. I've got to make speaker boxes now. It's seven o'clock at night and I'm still working. Think of the money. Yeah, okay. <laughs>